Well, hello everyone. It's me, Daniel with Website Candy, and today I'm going to show you how to create an extremely cool effect in no time because actions in Photoshop are amazing. So basically, we have our background right here, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to re rasterize <clears throat> this background, but you got to make sure the background uh, image says the word background, and then you also have to make sure. Um, that this layer up here says brush and what I've done is I've brushed over my model uh, you can hit the B key and you can select the color whatever you want to do there uh, adjust your brush size and you can you know do any type of brushing that you desire so let me come over here and adjust the brush size there and I'm going to kind of get a little bit more of the arms get those ears I'm gonna finish it off here as far as brushing it in I saved that just for you guys and get that elbow so you can just brush as much as you want you don't necessarily have to brush the whole entire subject so what we're going to do next is we're going to come up here to our actions and I have all kind of different actions installed here well this action right here what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click it right here and I'm going to hit the play button and it's going to tell me to create a shape automatically so I hit stop and then I'm going to go over here to my shape layer and then I'm gonna come up here and select the shape now keep in mind the crazier your shape sometimes the better the effect if you want your effect to be calm um, you want to select a uh, more calmer you know shape and it works really really well really cool very seamless very painless so I'm just going to select this one right here actually hmm I probably should have pre-decided this right here earlier but I didn't so I y'all get to sit through this painful process with me so I'm gonna select this shape right here and you all know how if you've been using Photoshop if you've been using shapes you know how shapes work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that shape up and I'm going to kind of cover her face with it right there so now I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to hit play and I'm going to resume and as you see here our effect is really taking place here I'm not touching the keyboard I'm just running an action and this is by participation only the way it works is the more that you engage with me the more that you like this video share it um, if you share this video with me just tweet it out just uh, send it to me on Twitter um, and I will list my Twitter below uh, if you comment on this video I will show you my tips and tricks and where I get all these actions for very very little I mean they're only like four five six dollars and you have this action forever and you can use it forever it's really cool it's really amazing I probably should have brought my artwork out to the left a little bit before I started running this action so you can see it all in full there but as you can see right now that we're crystallizing and the rate the radial blur and we're doing all kind of different things to this thing in reference to this action um, once it gets done you can actually kind of go through it and say hey you know I want to um, I want to uh, calm it down a little bit I don't want it to be as you know uh, messy uh, so to speak in regards to all the different layers and all the different actions that's been applied to the effect here so um, you do have an opportunity to go back and customize it the way that you want to sometimes you get these little error messages in regards to the background not big enough or the backgrounds too small uh, all kind of different little things happen in the process of this effect right here so I see my crosshairs there I'm gonna go back to the move tool so I don't mess anything up and as you can see here the effect is done as I mentioned before as we start to collapse these different folders that the action has created you can turn it on and turn it off and you can kind of see where that effect takes place and you can see where it's blue right there so we automatically know to kind of go inside um, this right here the glow and to start to turn on and off layers to kind of see what we can get going as you can see that big spotlight right there um, I kind of turned it off turned it on can see what happens so on and so forth so you can kind of play around with it and you can kind of you know make the effect really your own so send me a message here on YouTube like it share it with me on Twitter uh, and I will tell you where to get unlimited amount of these types of actions that do these types of things like fire and all kind of different things um, for very very little alright I'll talk to you guys in a little bit thanks for watching goodbye now